Missouri CDL Combination Vehicles Test. Question 1. Before you back under a trailer, make sure that Air supply knob is in. Air brakes are off. Trailer brakes are locked. Answer. Trailer brakes are locked. Question 2. To stop a trailer skid you should Use the trailer hand brakes. Counter steer. Release the brakes. Answer. Release the brakes. Question 3. When checking the trailer, emergency brakes make sure that the tractor protection control valve is placed in the position. Neutral. Emergency. Normal. Answer. Emergency. Question 4. When driving a set of doubles it is necessary to close which shut off valve in the last trailer. Back. Middle section. Front. Answer. Back. Question 5. Air and electrical lines from the tractor to the trailer should be Pulled tight with very little slack. Secured, but with enough slack for turns. Resting on the frame of the tractor. Answer. Secured, but with enough slack for turns. Question 6. A tractor with an trailer requires the shortest amount of stopping distance. Lightly loaded. Empty. Fully loaded. Answer. Fully loaded. Question 7. When you get ready to back under the semi-trailer you should line up. About 12 degrees off the line of the trailer. The kingpin to engage the driver's side locking jaw first. Directly in front of the trailer. Answer. Directly in front of the trailer. Question 8. What gear should the tractor engine be in after you uncouple the trailer and are inspecting the trailer supports? Low reverse. High reverse. Neutral. Answer. Neutral. Question 9. The front trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure. There is enough clearance between the upper and lower fifth wheel. The safety latch is in the unlocked position. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. Answer. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. Question 10. You supply air to the trailer tanks by Pushing in the trailer air supply valve Pulling out the trailer air supply valve Connecting the service line glad hand Answer. Pushing in the trailer air supply valve. Question 11. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, 
engine off, brakes off, should be no more than Psi per minute. 4 2 3 Answer 4 Question 12. Describe what the trailer air supply control does. It is a device used to keep the trailer behind the tractor. It is a yellow, six-sided knob used to control the tractor protection valve. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. Answer It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. Question 13. When you get ready to back under the semi-trailer you should line up. The kingpin to engage the driver's side locking jaw first. Directly in front of the trailer about 12 degrees off the line of the trailer. Answer Directly in front of the trailer. Question 14. Glad hands are used to connect the kingpin from the trailer to the locking jaws of the fifth wheel. Electric lines from the tractor to trailer. Service and emergency airlines from the truck to the trailer. Answer Service and emergency airlines from the truck to the trailer. Question 15. You have a major leak in the service line and you put on the brakes. Service air pressure will escape and cause the Trailer tank pressure to be lost. Trailer emergency brakes to come on. Tractor spring brakes to lock on. Answer Trailer emergency brakes to come on. Question 16 When should you use the hand valve to park a combination vehicle? Never. To park on a grade. To park at loading docks. Answer. Never. Question 17. Which type of truck trailer combination has the best chance of the crack the whip rollover? A tractor pulling three trailers. A tractor pulling two trailers. A single tractor trailer. Answer. A tractor pulling three trailers. Question 18. In general, the higher your truck's center of gravity, the more stable it is when turning. Easier it is to turn over. Easier it is to turn around corners. Answer Easier it is to turn over. Question 19. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes on, should not be more than Psi per minute. 2 4 6 Answer 4 Question 20 When checking the trailer emergency brakes make sure that the tractor protection control valve is placed in the position Neutral Emergency Normal 
answer. Emergency. Question 21. Describe what the trailer air supply control does. It is a device used to keep the trailer behind the tractor. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. It is a yellow, six-sided knob used to control the tractor protection valve. Answer It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. Question 22. When should you use chocks to park a trailer not equipped with spring brakes? Always. Never. Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Answer. Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Question 23. What is a tractor jackknife? When you lock up the drive tires on the tractor and the tractor spins out sideways as the trailer continues to push forward. When you lock up the drive tires on the trailer and the trailer spins out sideways as the tractor continues to push forward. Neither of these answers are correct. Answer. When you lock up the drive tires on the tractor and the tractor spins out sideways as the trailer continues to push forward. Question 24. When you get ready to back under the semi-trailer you should line up. About 12 degrees off the line of the trailer. Directly in front of the trailer. The kingpin to engage the driver's side locking jaw first. Answer Directly in front of the trailer. Question 25 The front trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure. There is enough clearance between the upper and lower fifth wheel. The safety latch is in the unlocked position. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. Answer There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. Question 26. There are two things that a driver can do to prevent a rollover. They are, 1. Keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible, and, 2. Keep the fifth wheels free play as tight as possible. Make sure that the brakes are properly adjusted. Go slowly around turns. Answer. Go slowly around turns. Question 27. The iron trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gears. There is enough clearance between the upper and lower fifth wheels. The safety latch is in unlocked position. Answer. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gears. Question 28. The tractor protection valve will close in the trailer. Emergency brakes will come on when there is a major leak in the brake line. Parking. Emergency. Service. Answer. Emergency. 
Question 29. The trailer hand valve works the trailer brakes. Which of these statements is true? Both of these statements are correct. The trailer hand valve should be used only to test the trailer brakes. The foot brake sends air to all of the brakes on the vehicle, including that the trailers. Answer Both of these statements are correct. Question 30. After connecting the air lines, but before backing under the trailer you should Walk around the rig to make sure it is clear. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Answer Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Question 31 you are coupling a tractor to a semi-trailer and have backed up but are not under it. What should you hook up before backing under semi-trailer? Nothing, back up and lock the fifth wheel. The electrical service cable. The emergency and service air lines. Answer The emergency and service air lines. Question 32. When you are uncoupling a loaded trailer lower the landing gear until it reaches the ground. Makes firm contact with the ground. Makes contact with the ground and leave the trailer off the fifth wheel. Answer. Makes firm contact with the ground. Question 33. After connecting the air lines, but before backing under the trailer you should Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Walk around the rig to make sure it is clear. Answer. Supply air to the trailer system. Then pull out the air supply knob. Question 34. Which part of the kingpin should the locking jaws close around? The shank. The base. The head. Answer. The shank. Question 35. If the service line comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency line stays together, what will happen right away? Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. The emergency trailer brakes will come on. The trailer's tank will exhaust through the open line. Answer. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 36. When driving a set of doubles it is necessary to close which shut off valve in the last trailer? Front. Back. Middle section. Answer. Back. Question 37. The best way to tell if your trailer has started to skid is to Feel for pulling in the cab. See it in your mirrors. Hear the wheels skidding. Answer. See it in your mirrors. Question 38. 
After the trailer has been coupled to the tractor, the tractor protection control valve should be placed in what position? Normal. Down. Up. Answer. Normal. Question 39. While checking if the rear trailer is securely coupled to the front trailer the landing gear should be Fully lowered Slightly raised Fully raised Answer Slightly raised Question 40 off tracking or cheating causes which of these to follow the wider pass while making a turn? Tractor with two 27 feet trailers, 53 feet bobtail, triple towing a 45 feet trailer. Answer Tractor with two 27 feet trailers. Question 41. When backing a tractor under a trailer you should expect. End of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Trailer landing gear is fully extended. Answer. Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Question 42. If the service airline comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency lines stay together, what will happen right away? The trailer's air tank will exhaust through the open line. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. The emergency tractor brakes will come on. Answer. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 43. Airlines on a combination vehicle are often colored to keep them from getting mixed up. The emergency line is, the service line is. Red, blue. Blue, red. Black. Yellow. Answer. Red, blue. Question 44. The fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kin pen. This means that the parking lock is off and may drive away. The trailer will not swivel on the fifth wheel. The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. Answer The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. Question 45. The hand valve should be used Only when the trailer is fully loaded. To test the trailer brakes. Only with the foot brake. Answer. To test the trailer brakes. Question 46. Where should the tractor do when you inspect landing gear after uncoupling the trailer? Completely cleared from the trailer. With the fifth wheel directly beneath the kingpin. With the tractor frame under the trailer. Answer. With the tractor frame under the trailer. Question 47. The front trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure. 
there is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. There is enough clearance between the upper and lower fifth wheel. The safety latch is in the unlocked position. Answer There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. Question 48. What is the emergency airline? Airlines that control the emergency brakes on combination vehicles. Airlines that control the emergency brakes of the tractor. Airlines connecting the parking brake to the trailer brakes. Answer. Airlines that control the emergency brakes on combination vehicles. Question 49. Semi-trailers made before 1975 that are equipped with air brakes. Often do not have spring brakes. Are easier to brake because they are heavier. Usually need a glad hand converter. Answer. Often do not have spring brakes. Question 50. For a coupling to be completed, the safety catch for the fifth wheel locking lever must be Straight up Through the locking lever Over the locking lever Answer Over the locking lever Question 51 a trailer is most likely to jackknife when it is Empty Overloaded Loaded to full capacity Answer Empty Question 52 When you turn suddenly while pulling doubles which trailer is most likely to turn over? Each trailer is equally likely to turn over as the tractor. The front trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Answer The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Question 53. Describe what the trailer air supply control does. It is a device used to keep the trailer behind the tractor. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. It is a yellow, six-sided knob used to control the tractor protection valve. Answer. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. Question 54. When coupling, the proper position of the fifth wheel is Tilted up toward the end of the tractor. Level with the ground. Tilted down toward the end of tractor. Answer Tilted down toward the end of tractor. Question 55 After you lock the kingpin into the fifth wheel, you should check the connection by pulling forward 50 feet, turning right and left. The tractor ahead gently with the trailer brakes locked. The tractor ahead sharply to release the trailer brakes. Answer The tractor ahead gently with the trailer brakes locked.
Question 56. Glad hands are used to connect the electric lines from the tractor to trailer. Kingpin from the trailer to the locking jaws of the fifth wheel. Service and emergency airlines from the track to the trailer. Answer Service and emergency airlines from the track to the trailer. Question 57 Why should you use chocks when parking a trailer without spring brakes? Because you don't want the trailer rolling down a hill. Because some states require chalking of trailer wheels. Because if the air pressure leaks away or down, there will be no brakes. Answer Because if the air pressure leaks away or down, there will be no brakes. Question 58 if the service line comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency line stays together, what will happen right away? The emergency trailer brakes will come on. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. The trailer's tank will exhaust through the open line. Answer. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 59. When you are uncoupling a loaded trailer lower the landing gear until it makes contact with the ground and leave the trailer off the fifth wheel. Reaches the ground. Makes firm contact with the ground. Answer. Makes firm contact with the ground. Question 60. Why should you not use the trailer hand valve while driving? Because of the danger of making the trailer skid. Because it won't work as well as the foot brake. Because you should use the parking brake. Answer. Because of the danger of making the trailer skid. Question 61. A driver crosses the airlines when hooking up to an old trailer. What will happen? The brake lights will come on when the brake pedal is pressed. If the trailer has no spring brakes, you could drive away but you wouldn't have trailer brakes. The hand valve will apply the tractor brakes instead of the trailer brakes. Answer If the trailer has no spring brakes, you could drive away but you wouldn't have trailer brakes. Question 62 The driver crosses the airlines when hooking up to an old trailer. What will happen? The hand valve will apply the tractor brakes instead of the trailer brakes. If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. The brake pedal will work the trailer spring brakes instead of the air brakes. Answer If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away. But you will not have trailer brakes. Question 63. The tractor protection valve will close in the trailer. Emergency brakes will come on when there is a major leak in the brake line. Parking. Service. Emergency. Answer. Emergency Question 64. How much space should be between upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? About one-fourth inch. 
just enough to see light through it. None. Answer. None. Question 65. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes on, should not be more than. Psi per minute. 2. 4. 6. Answer. 4. Question 66. When you turn suddenly while pulling doubles, which trailer is most likely to turn over? The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Each trailer is equally likely to turn over as the tractor. The front trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Answer. The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Question 67. Glad hands are used to connect the kingpin from the trailer to the locking jaws of the fifth wheel. Service and emergency air lines from the track to the trailer. Electric lines from the tractor to trailer. Answer. Service and emergency air lines from the track to the trailer. Question 68. If the brakes are not released when you push the trailer air supply valve you should Check airline connection. Cross the airlines. Check electrical cable. Answer. Check airline connection. Question 69. How long does it take a typical tractor trailer to clear a single track? A double track. It takes 10 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 12 seconds to clear a double track. It takes 7 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 10 seconds to clear a double track. It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. Answer. It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. Question 70. When you turn suddenly while pulling doubles, which trailer is most likely to turn over? Each trailer is equally likely to turn over as the tractor. The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. The front trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Answer The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Question 71 You are coupling a semi-trailer to your tractor but have not yet backed under. The trailer is at the right height when it will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. The kingpin is about 1 and 1 fourth inches above the fifth wheel. The end of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. Answer It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. Question 72. When backing a tractor under a trailer you should Always use lowest reverse gear. Do it quickly to ensure that the kingpin is locked into the fifth wheel. Always approach the trailer at a slight angle. Answer 
Always use lowest reverse gear. Question 73. Describe what the trailer air supply control does. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. It is a yellow, six-sided knob used to control the tractor protection valve. It is a device used to keep the trailer behind the tractor. Answer It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. Question 74. You have pushed the trailer air supply valve. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is at normal pressure, empty, between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch. Answer. At normal pressure. Question 75. Glad hands are used to connect the kingpin from the trailer to the locking jaws of the fifth wheel. Service and emergency air lines from the track to the trailer. Electric lines from the tractor to trailer. Answer. Service and emergency air lines from the track to the trailer. Question 76. Why should you not use the trailer hand valve while driving? Because of the danger of making the trailer skid. Because it won't work as well as the foot brake. Because you should use the parking brake. Answer. Because of the danger of making the trailer skid. Question 77. Why should you lock the tractor glad hands, or dummy couplers, to each other when you are not towing a trailer? If you did not, you could never build system pressure. It will keep dirt and water out of the lines. The connected brake circuit becomes a backup air tank. Answer. It will keep dirt and water out of the lines. Question 78. Under good driving conditions, you should leave at least one second of space between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead for every feet of your vehicle's length. 10 20 30 Answer 10 Question 79 The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle engine off brakes on should not be more than psi per minute 2 Four. Six. Answer. Four. Question 80. Which part of the kingpin should the locking jaws close around? The base. The shank. The head. Answer. The shank. Question 81. When checking the trailer emergency brakes, make sure that the tractor protection control valve is placed in the position. Emergency. Normal. Neutral. Answer. Emergency. Question 82. 
while checking if the rear trailer is securely coupled to the front trailer the landing gear should be fully lowered slightly raised fully raised answer slightly raised question 83 compared to a straight truck or bus there are things to inspect in combination vehicles more fewer the same number answer more Question 84. What statement best explains crack the whip effect? Your trailer is half full and the cargo is loaded in the front of the trailer. When you make a sudden steering wheel movement cargo will tend to forcefully slide to the back of the trailer, forcing the trailer to roll over. When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the rear trailer tends to swing out. The force of the rear trailer becomes amplified causing it to roll over, rearward amplification. When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the tractor tends to rock and sway. The velocity of the rearmost trailer forces the tractor to roll over before the trailer. Answer when you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the rear trailer tends to swing out. The force of the rear trailer becomes amplified causing it to roll over, rearward amplification. Question 85. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is Blood down to half the maximum pressure at normal pressure between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch answer at normal pressure question 86 semi trailers made before 1975 that are equipped with air brakes are easier to break because they are heavier. Often do not have spring brakes. Usually need a glad hand converter. Answer Often do not have spring brakes. Question 87 off tracking or cheating causes which of these to follow the water pass while making a turn? Tractor with two 27 feet trailers, 53 feet bobtail, triple towing a 45 feet trailer. Answer Tractor with two 27 feet trailers. Question 88. How much space should be between upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? About one fourth inch. None. Just enough to see light through it. Answer. None. Question 89. Describe what the trailer air supply control does. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. It is a yellow, six-sided knob used to control the tractor protection valve. It is a device used to keep the trailer behind the tractor. Answer. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. Question 90. You are driving a combination vehicle when the trailer breaks away, pulling apart both airlines. 
you would expect the trailer brakes to come on and the tractor protection valve to close the trailer supply valve to stay open the tractor to lose all air pressure answer the tractor protection valve to close Question 91. If the service line comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency line stays together, what will happen right away? The emergency trailer brakes will come on. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. The trailer's tank will exhaust through the open line. Answer. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 92. If the brakes are not released when you push the trailer air supply valve you should Check airline connection. Cross the airlines. Check electrical cable. Answer. Check airline connection. Question 93. Which part of the kingpin should the locking jaws close around? The head. The base. The shank. Answer. The shank. Question 94. The driver crosses the airlines when hooking up to an old trailer. What will happen? The hand valve will apply the tractor brakes instead of the trailer brakes. If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. The brake pedal will work the trailer spring brakes instead of the air brakes. Answer. If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. Question 95. What is the emergency airline for? To engage the front brakes of the tractor in case of an emergency. To have extra air pressure in case you need it. To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. Answer. To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. Question 96. You are uncoupling a trailer. After you shut off the trailer air supply and lock the trailer brakes, you should... Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Immediately put on your tractor parking brakes. Begin to lower trailer landing gear. Answer Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Question 97 why should you not use the trailer hand valve while driving? Because you should use the parking brake. Because it won't work as well as the foot brake. Because of the danger of making the trailer skid. Answer Because of the danger of making the trailer skid. Question 98. There are two things that a driver can do to prevent a rollover. They are, 1. Keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible, and, 2. Go slowly around turns. Keep the fifth wheels free play as tight as possible. Make sure that the brakes are properly adjusted. Answer. 
go slowly around turns. Question 99. What gear should the tractor engine be in after you uncouple the trailer and are inspecting the trailer supports? Low reverse. Neutral. High reverse. Answer. Neutral. Question 100. A driver crosses the airlines when hooking up to an old trailer. What will happen? If the trailer has no spring brakes, you could drive away but you wouldn't have trailer brakes. The hand valve will apply the tractor brakes instead of the trailer brakes. The brake lights will come on when the brake pedal is pressed. Answer. If the trailer has no spring brakes, you could drive away but you wouldn't have trailer brakes. Question 101. You want to inspect the trailer supports. You should place the tractor transmission in which gear after you have uncoupled the trailer? Low reverse. High reverse. Neutral. Answer. Neutral. Question 102. Which of these vehicles off tracks the most? Five axle tractor towing a 42 foot trailer. Five axle tractor towing a 45 foot trailer. Five axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer. Answer. Five axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer. Question 103. If you have coupled with the semi trailer, where should the front trailer supports be before driving away? Raised one halfway with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Raised three fourths way with the crank handle removed. Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Answer. Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Question 104. After you supply air to the trailer, make sure the air lines are not crossed and the trailer brakes are working. This is done by Lifting the brake pedal. Turning on the parking brakes from the cab. Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Answer. Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Question 105. The safest way to make turn without entering another traffic lane is You should turn wide before you start the turn. You should not make a turn and move to another place where you can make a turn without crossing other lane. You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Answer You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Question 106. You are coupling tractor to a semi-trailer. You have connected the airlines. Before backing under the trailer you should Pull ahead to test the glad hands connections. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Answer. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Question 107. 
When checking the trailer, emergency brakes make sure that the tractor protection control valve is placed in the position. Emergency Neutral Normal Answer Emergency Question 108 Compared to a straight truck or bus there are things to inspect in combination vehicles. Fewer. More. The same number. Answer. More. Question 109. Why should you lock the tractor glad hands? or dummy couplers, to each other when you are not towing a trailer. It will keep dirt and water out of the lines. The connected brake circuit becomes a backup air tank. If you did not, you could never build system pressure. Answer It will keep dirt and water out of the lines. Question 110. How much space should be between upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? About one fourth inch. Just enough to see light through it. None. Answer. None. Question 111. After connecting the air lines, but before backing under the trailer you should Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Walk around the rig to make sure it is clear. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Answer Supply air to the trailer system. Then pull out the air supply knob. Question 112. Which of these vehicles off tracks the most? 5 axle tractor towing a 42 foot trailer. 5 axle tractor towing a 45 foot trailer. 5 axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer. Answer. 5 axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer. Question 113. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes on, should not be more than Psi per minute. 6. 2. 4. Answer 4 Question 114 What are the other names for the service airline? Curved line or signal line Control line or signal line Straight line or control line Answer Control line or signal line. Question 115. When checking the trailer, emergency brakes make sure that the tractor protection control valve is placed in the position. Normal. Emergency. Neutral. Answer. Emergency Question 116. There are two things that a driver can do to prevent a rollover. They are, 1. Keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible, and, 2. Keep the fifth wheels free play as tight as possible. Make sure that the brakes are properly adjusted. 
Go slowly around turns. Answer. Go slowly around turns. Question 117. Which of these statements is true? Bobtail tractors can take longer to stop than a combination vehicle loaded to the maximum gross weight. Light vehicles need more braking power to stop than heavy ones. Always delay braking a heavy vehicle until you have no other choice. Answer Bobtail tractors can take longer to stop than a combination vehicle loaded to the maximum gross weight. Question 118 you are uncoupling a trailer. After you shut off the trailer air supply and lock the trailer brakes, you should Immediately put on your tractor parking brakes. Begin to lower trailer landing gear. Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Answer Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Question 119. Air and electrical lines from the tractor to the trailer should be Resting on the frame of the tractor. Pulled tight with very little slack. Secured, but with enough slack for turns. Answer. Secured, but with enough slack for turns. Question 120. When should you use chocks to park a trailer not equipped with spring brakes? Always. Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Never. Answer. Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Question 121. A trailer is most likely to jackknife when it is Loaded to full capacity Overloaded Empty Answer Empty Question 122. What statement best explains crack the whip effect? When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the tractor tends to rock and sway. The velocity of the rearmost trailer forces the tractor to roll over before the trailer. Your trailer is half full and the cargo is loaded in the front of the trailer. When you make a sudden steering wheel movement cargo will tend to forcefully slide to the back of the trailer, forcing the trailer to roll over. When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the rear trailer tends to swing out. The force of the rear trailer becomes amplified causing it to roll over, rearward amplification. Answer when you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the rear trailer tends to swing out. The force of the rear trailer becomes amplified causing it to roll over, rearward amplification. Question 123. You have coupled with the semi-trailer. Where should you put the iron trailer supports before driving away? Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Raised one halfway with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Three turns off the top with a crank handle secured in its bracket. Answer Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Question 124. 
your emergency airline brakes or gets pulled apart while you are driving. The loss of pressure will cause the air compressor to unload instead of pumping air. Emergency trailer brakes to come on. Trailer supply valve to open. Answer. Emergency trailer brakes to come on. Question 125. Which part of the kingpin should the locking jaws close around? The shank. The head. The base. Answer. The shank. Question 126. Which of these vehicles off tracks the most? Five axle tractor towing a 42 foot trailer. Five axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer. Five axle tractor towing a 45 foot trailer. Answer. Five axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer. Question 127. You are uncoupling a trailer. After you shut off the trailer air supply and lock the trailer brakes, you should Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Begin to lower trailer landing gear. Immediately put on your tractor parking brakes. Answer Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Question 128. What gear should the tractor engine be in after you uncouple the trailer and are inspecting the trailer supports? High reverse. Low reverse. Neutral. Answer. Neutral. Question 129. Airlines on a combination vehicle are often colored to keep them from getting mixed up. The emergency line is, the service line is. Red, blue. Blue, red. Black, yellow. Answer. Red, blue. Question 130. After you lock the kingpin into the fifth wheel, you should check the connection by pulling. Forward 50 feet, turning right, and left. The tractor ahead sharply to release the trailer brakes. The tractor ahead gently with the trailer brakes locked. Answer. The tractor ahead gently with the trailer brakes locked. Question 131. When you turn suddenly while pulling doubles, which trailer is most likely to turn over? The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Each trailer is equally likely to turn over as the tractor. The front trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Answer The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Question 132. You are coupling tractor to a semi-trailer. You have connected the airlines. Before backing under the trailer you should Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Pull ahead to test the glad hands connections. Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Answer 
supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Question 133. You supply air to the trailer tanks by Pulling out the trailer air supply valve Connecting the service line glad hand Pushing in the trailer air supply valve Answer Pushing in the trailer air supply valve Question 134. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes on, should not be more than psi per minute. 6 2 4 Answer 4 Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.